King Charles III of the United Kingdom receives the first banknotes featuring his image in London. Prince Albert II of Monaco presides over an investiture ceremony in Monacoville. The Imperial Family of Japan visit the Meiji Shrine in Shibuya, Tokyo. And the Royal Family of Norway hosts a reception at the Royal Palace in Oslo. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. In Oslo, Her Majesty Queen Sonia of Norway, the Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Haakon as Regent, and Crown Princess Metemait of Norway, hosted a reception in the Great Banquet Hall at the Royal Palace for recipients of the King's Medal of Merit. Founded by King Haakon VII on February 1, 1908, the King's Medal of Merit is awarded to individuals for their efforts of a particularly socially beneficial nature in areas such as art, culture, science, business, and social as well as humanitarian work. In Stockholm, His Majesty King Carl Gustaf of Sweden held an audience with the Speaker of the Danish Parliament, Mr. Soren Gade, at the Royal Palace. In the afternoon, Their Majesties King Carl Gustaf and Queen Sylvia of Sweden presided over the presentation of His Majesty the King's Medal for Services to Swedish Sport held at the Royal Palace. Meanwhile, the Royal Highnesses, Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden, held a meeting with the Minister of Defense of the Kingdom of Sweden, Mr. Paul Jonsson, at the Royal Palace. During the meeting, Minister Jonsson informed the Crown Princess couple on the, quote, current issues in the field of defense policy, end quote. In Copenhagen, Her Majesty, Queen Mary of Denmark attended the 20th anniversary celebrations of the specialists held at the National Museum. According to a press release, the specialists was established in 2004 by Mr. Torkel Sone after his son was diagnosed with infantile autism at the age of three. With the family's house as collateral, Mr. Sone started the specialists to employ individuals with autism to, quote, solve tasks in the IT industry. The goal was not to create a company that suited his son. Instead, the goal was to change society's attitude towards people with autism. Today, The Specialists operates from Balirup, and The Specialists Foundation works with partners in 26 locations in 13 countries internationally." End quote. Meanwhile, the Royal Court of Denmark announced that on the occasion of His Majesty King Frederick X of Denmark's 56th birthday on May 26th, the King will appear on the balcony at Frederick VIII's palace at Emelienborg at 12 p.m. Her Majesty Queen Mary of Denmark, Crown Prince Christian, Princess Isabella, Prince Vincent, and Princess Josephine will also appear on the balcony after the King's first wave. At 11.50 a.m., the Royal Life Guard in their red gala uniforms will carry out a large changing of the guard at Emelienborg Schlott Square. The Royal Court also confirmed that Her Majesty, Queen Margrethe of Denmark, will celebrate her 84th birthday privately at Fredensborg Schlott on April 16th. On the occasion of Queen Margrethe's birthday, the Royal Life Guard's music corps will perform a small concert in the inner courtyard in connection with the changing of the guard at Fredensborg Schlott. In Amsterdam, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands attended the launch of the Amsterdam Stage Pact MBO held at the Capital C. According to RVD, with the Stage Pact, quote, Amsterdam MBO institutions the Collaboration Organization for Vocational Education and Business and the business community strive for one clear goal, 
that every MBO student in Amsterdam should have access to a suitable internship with good guidance from the school and the internship company and fair compensation. End quote. During the event, the Queen met with MBO students as well as spoke with employers about the importance of the role that internships play in the careers of students and the importance of well-trained professionals for business and the economy. Earlier in the day, the Queen, as honorary chairman of the Sheldon Lab NL, gave a speech during the opening of the conference entitled Life Affordable, organized by the National Institute for Budget Information, held at the Media Plaza in Utrecht. This afternoon, in the Shibuya Ward of Tokyo, their Imperial Majesties, Emperor Norihito and Empress Masako of Japan, accompanied by Emperor Emeritus Akihito and Empress Emerita Mashiko of Japan, and their Imperial Highnesses, Crown Prince Akishino and Crown Princess Kiko of Japan, visited the Meiji Shrine on the occasion of the 110th anniversary of the death of Empress Dowager Shokin. Empress Dowager Shokin, the wife of Emperor Meiji of Japan, passed away on April 9, 1914, at the age of 64. Meanwhile, the Imperial Household Agency announced that the Emperor and Empress will visit the towns of Anamizu and Noto in the Ishikawa Prefecture on Friday to meet with individuals affected by the devastating 7.6 earthquake on January 1, 2024, in central Japan. During their visit, the Emperor and Empress will meet with people living in evacuation centers as well as relief workers. The IHA also noted that the visit will be postponed to Saturday if there is bad weather. On Monday, the Emperor received letters of credence from the Ambassador of the State of Kuwait to Japan, His Excellency Jaber bin Jarala Almari at the Imperial Palace. Also on Monday, the Imperial Household Agency announced that the Spring Garden Party hosted by Emperor Norihito and Empress Moscow of Japan will take place on April 23rd at Akasaka Goyen National Garden. Approximately 1,700 guests will attend the party, including contemporary artist Mr. Tandanori Yoku, actor and recipient of the Person of Cultural Merit, Mr. Kinya Kitioshi, to name a few. On Sunday, Her Imperial Highness, Princess Kako of Akishino, attended the 25th edition of the Japan High School Girls Baseball Championship Final, held at the Tokyo Dome. In Madrid, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain held a meeting with the President of the Republic of Cape Verde, Mr. Jose Maria Barrera Neves, held at Palacio de la Zarzuela. President Barrera Neves is on a working visit to the Kingdom of Spain to participate in the 2024 Ocean Decade Conference in Barcelona. On Monday, the King received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to the Kingdom of Spain at Palacio Real de Madrid. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, the Republic of Albania, the Republic of Uzbekistan, the Republic of Serbia, the Republic of Ecuador, and the Republic of Panama. The Letters of Credence is an official document in which a foreign head of state informs a sovereign that he or she recently appointed the ambassador as the official representative in the kingdom. Upon receiving the Letters of Credence, formalizes his or her entry into office in the Kingdom of Spain. We have an election coming up here in Panama on May 5th and the inauguration of the new president on July 1st. I wonder if the king will come to Panama. I hope so. 
He's really good looking, by the way. Okay, moving on. On Sunday in Monacoville, His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Monaco, accompanied by Father Cesar Penzo, attended an investiture ceremony of new knights, four men and one woman, of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, held at the Cathedral de Monaco. The ceremony was presided over by Archbishop Dominique Marie David. Per the Vatican, quote, The Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem is a lay institution placed under the protection of the Holy See. Its main aim is to strengthen among its members the practice of Christian life, to sustain and aid the charitable, cultural, and social works and institutions of the Catholic Church in the Holy Land, particularly those of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, which also includes Cyprus and Jordan, and thus supporting the Christian presence in the lands of the Bible. At present, the order is comprised of an estimated 30,000 members. The contributions made by members of the order are one of the Latin Patriarchate's main sources of funding. End quote. In Monaco, there are currently 60 members of the order. Meanwhile, it was announced that the British group Jumiroquai will perform during the upcoming 75th edition of the Gala de la Croix Rouge Monégasque on July 19th inside the famous Salle des Etoiles at the Monte Carlo Sporting in Larvodo. The Sovereign Prince is President of the Croix Rouge Monégasque and Princess Charlene of Monaco is the Vice President. In London, His Majesty, King Charles III of the United Kingdom, received the first bank notes featuring his image from the Governor of the Bank of England, Mr. Andrew Bailey, and the Chief Cashier and Executive Director of Banking, Ms. Sarah John, at Buckingham Palace. According to Buckingham Palace, the bank notes will go into circulation on June 5th. Quote, This is the first time the Bank of England has changed the image of the monarch on a banknote. Queen Elizabeth II became the first monarch to appear on a Bank of England note in 1960. End quote. On Monday in London, their royal highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, on behalf of His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom, attended a parade in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace to commemorate the 120th anniversary of the Entente Cordiale. The Entente Cordiale was a diplomatic agreement signed on April 8, 1904 in London, thus ending centuries of, well, bickering, fighting, between the United Kingdom and France. Thank God they're besties now. And finally, on Sunday morning, Her Royal Highness, Princess Maria Carolina of Bourbon to Sicilies was named ambassador slash godmother at the Bicin Rosa event during a press conference in Rome, Italy. Bicin Rosa is a cycling event that aims to raise awareness among women about the importance of breast cancer prevention through sport and a healthy diet. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, April 10th, with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Okay, again, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.